I'd like to create a key in Setup that goes beyond the features provided with a quick key. With Setup, I can create multiple keys, a key with just a portion of the page, or information from several pages. You'll still be able to set or change your quick key even after creating keys in Setup. To begin, tap Setup. To create a key, tap the blue plus on the right and select Key. Pick the page of the PDF your key is on. In this case, my key is on page 3. Tap Next. Here I can see my page and it is ready to crop. You can also rotate or mirror using the buttons provided. Cropping lets me pick just the part of the page that contains the key, so my view while I'm knitting is going to be less cluttered. To crop, I will drag my finger diagonally across the section of the page that contains my key. I can see it drawing the box as I drag. Take your time. You can adjust as needed. When you lift your finger, it will zoom into your selected area. Everything covered in blue will be cut away. You can adjust your crop by dragging, dragging on any of the edges or a corner. I'll clean up my edges a bit. You can start cropping over again if something goes wrong. To do this, tap Clear. When you're done cropping, tap the Crop button and the view will show you the resulting key. If you want to change your crop, just tap the Crop button again. You'll see your new key at the top. Also notice that on the left side of the top, you can select to view pieces, keys, and templates. We'll learn more about creating pieces and templates in future tutorials. When you're ready to start knitting, tap Knit. Here you can see your new key at the bottom and you can adjust the height of the bottom area to suit your needs. If you have more than one key, tap the key button to toggle all through the current keys. If you want to add notes or highlights to your key, tap Edit.